<laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy NAPPIE, and welcome to the YouTube channel. On today's episode, you'll just love it. But before we get into this episode, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get a notification anytime I post a video. And please like and share to your family and friends. Cheers! So this video is about a Ghanaian girl studying and living in Germany. Wow, this is amazing. So she's going to share her experience with us, especially to those who want to go and study in Germany. Get this and then learn something from it. So come with me. Let's go! <laughs> wait, 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 guys, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yes, she is in Germany, a Ghanaian girl living in Germany. So let's get into the video. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, N-A-P-P-I-E. I like your intro so much. So hi guys, my name is Fidels Osman, and I'm a Ghanaian student living in Germany. I school at the Christian Albrecht University. I'm pursuing Master of Science in Material Science and Engineering. <laughs> There's a vast difference, a very huge difference. Now, when it comes to the way of lecturing, yeah? The way of learning the exams is everything is so different here so when i came initially i faced a lot of challenges because back in ghana i had my bachelor's in ghana so i have experience of university back in ghana and it's so so different now comparing universities in germany to ghana now in germany there are like good facilities okay of course Germany is like a very developed country and ghana is still developing so so many equipment that makes like studying easier but back in ghana i studied engineering and we didn't have like enough equipment to really equip us with our learning but here there, there's so many that is advanced like you guys will understand me right it's so advanced now let's come to the lecturing part here the lectures when they are lecturing it's very it's very in-depth now i'm not saying our lecturers back in Ghana are not intelligent or something but the lecturers here it seems they are more passionate about their jobs and when they are when they are lecturing they always make references to the projects they have done so it's very it's very very relatable compared to our lecturers back in Ghana they've not done so much projects even like sorry to go back I did this way so go back and check it and then you know but the lecturers here in Germany They've done so many researches, so many, so it's easier for them to teach you. It makes it more practical. Now, when it comes to the exams, the examinations in Ghana are so easy. See, if you're coming to study in Germany, just psych your mind that you're going to learn. You're going to learn so, so hard. Because the examinations here, the questions are not straight, so straightforward. They ask you, like, they ask you why not just not what is this what is that no they, they're going to ask you why is this like this why is it's more practical so after studying here in germany you have a vast knowledge on everything but back in ghana we are a bit disadvantaged probably they have to change the education system or something i don't know but i feel like we are really lacking because when i came here i really struggled to catch up with their system here okay because at the german students here like to me, they're not even smarter than me, but because they had a better um, background, education background, because they were like very, very smart answering questions. But like some of us from Africa, we were like trying to catch up with them. But now we have a grip of it, and yeah, we are, we are doing so well. <laughs> and I hope Ghana will also one day will have better universities with very good facilities. I hope we get there one day. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now P, that's a very good question there. Actually, <laughs> it's it's funny, right? Like back in Ghana, let me let me be honest with you. I didn't know so much about the history of Ghana, Africa, or anything. But traveling to Germany, meeting a lot of foreigners, foreign students, then internationals. You know, we all like to share our culture with each other. Our your friends will ask you. Where are you from? From Ghana. So what do you have in Ghana? Blah blah blah. Those kind of things. So it makes you want to learn more about your country. It makes you want to learn more about Africa. So me traveling here has more advantage for me because it really broadened my mind on the history of Africa, on the, on the history of Ghana. 
and even on the issue of Jeremy because I wanted to know more, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's... I learned more here, like, my, my knowledge about the history of Ghana brought it when I traveled. I'm sure if I was still in Ghana, I wouldn't even bother myself to be learning about the history of Ghana, what really happened, independence, how we gained independence. I really, I wouldn't really know much. Even though we learned some in school, it was just basics. But right now, I know so, so much about black history, you know, everything that has to do with Africa. I know, I would, I would not say I know about 100%. I, I know, like, something just sufficient, yes. Okay, this is a very nice question. I've had very great experience studying with races all around the world. Because in my class, we have like people from different countries, from Asia, America, Europe, wherever. So you get a chance to meet a lot of internationals. And now you become more open-minded, okay? Like back in Ghana, I was so close-minded, yeah? But right now, I've met like different people, so I'm not open minded. You know how to tolerate people, you understand people's culture, you know why people do this and that, you don't have to criticize them, like those kind of things. So, studying abroad, if you have the opportunity to study abroad, it's so good because it's going to broaden your mind, it's going to make you more intellectual because you're going to meet people from different parts of the world and you can tolerate them, understand why they do this. You don't, you can't, you, you just don't sit somewhere and criticize somebody for doing this. You just don't be somewhere, excuse me, excuse me to say, if somebody is gay, if somebody is atheist, back in Ghana, if someone tells me that they are atheist or they are gay or they are lesbian, I'll be looking at the person like, what? But right now, I'm more open-minded. I mean, everybody has the right to, you know, choose whatever they want. So right now, those kind of things, I would say, I'm more open-minded about those kind of things, yeah. That's one good thing about, you know, studying abroad. <laughs> definitely most definitely i would recommend see if you're an african and, and if you have the opportunity to study abroad go for it trust me because sorry to say like africa you know we are not that developed equally our universities and schools too are not that developed so if you have the chance to go travel outside go and capture their knowledge yeah learn as much as you can take it back to your country so if you have the opportunity to yes yes i would advise anyone don't force yourself to do if you don't want to but if you have the zeal to study abroad don't just travel abroad because you want to travel abroad or because you feel like you're tired of the of your country you want to leave you should have a purpose before traveling abroad like going to school yeah when learn whatever they are learning there take it back to africa let's develop our country like that's what we are looking for so i advise anyone yeah i would recommend anyone to grab the opportunity to come study especially in germany because they offer like the one of the best educations here and this makes us stronger i've encountered a lot of <laughs> i don't know where to start from <sighs> I've encountered a lot of challenges here in Germany, but I feel like it wasn't, it's not so bad. Like, it's something you can manage. Yeah? First of all, me coming from Africa, Ghana, the temperature in Ghana is usually 28, 29 degrees Celsius. It's hot. And coming here, I'm meeting a weather of 3 degrees, 0 degrees, minus 1. And most of the time, students come to school during the winter. And you meeting this harsh weather, it's it can be depressing now like you so now the weather can be a challenge yeah so you have to acclimatize even acclimatizing i don't right now i'm i've been here for a year i don't think i have acclimatized yet like, i still struggle with winter so much now the weather being aside the language especially if you are studying in a country where it's non-english speaking like germany now i want to advise you guys yeah if you want to come study in germany or any other country have some basics basics in the language okay before coming for me i didn't do that because me coming here was just impromptu so i didn't even get to study german in order now this doesn't mean that some germans here speak good english so you can interact but a lot don't speak english so if you have the german language at your fingers basic ones it's life a bit makes life easier for you than when you can't speak the language now yeah language barrier is also a problem 
now they're school that's another problem you coming from africa like me you are going to face ch- challenges okay now trying to adapt to their education system because their education system when you come is so new to you it's a bit difficult but it's doable it's difficult i'm not lying to you but it's doable because people have done it and even me i'm not so intelligent so i'm doing it so you can also do it no now that's another challenge and work so now a lot of people in africa we have this mindset that when you travel abroad as soon as you come you're gonna get a job it takes time now before you even get a job you need to have um, your job permit your working permit now that even takes time it can take up to a month before you get your working permit so you have to be patient now you searching for a job also takes time especially when you don't speak german because let's say you want to be a cashier or something you need to speak german there are certain jobs you need to speak german before you get fortunately there are also some jobs where you can do without german that's what some that's what i do because i don't really speak german like that now so finding a job can also be a challenge and at this my age (laughs) i'm like in my 20s mid 20s you guys can guess my age learning a new language is a struggle at this age learning a new language is a struggle so you have to able to put in all these things and it's not so difficult but if you are determined you can do it now um since you are here studying you also want to work studying and working these things together is very very hard so you have to manage your time very very well now here time is money you work with time go to work you know when you come back to work you have to study your books you have exams you need to manage your time so well in terms of advantages okay right now i can tell i can say that right now i'm more independent than when i was back in ghana i decide things for myself like you know those kind of things so yeah these are the challenges you might face when you come the food and other stuff yeah and also i know a lot of people you guys will be asking yeah in germany have you faced any kind of racism no i haven't faced any kind of racism yet because i don't know what the future holds and i hope not now i've met very very nice germans and haven't faced any kind of racism but I, like the old women they can really stare a lot but i'm like it's is you seen a black person they just want to stare so i don't have a problem with that yeah that's it <laughs> That's a very good question then NLP. But I came here initially, I had a mindset of as soon as I'm done with my studies, I'm going back to Ghana. But I've changed that mindset because right now I have the fear of going back home because I don't know what is actually waiting for me. I don't know if there's a job waiting for me back home. I feel like here yeah, there are opportunities, okay. Even though it's not easy to come by a job, but there are opportunities to even go for interview. But back in my country, you wouldn't even have the opportunity to even go for the, this interview. So when I've changed my mind, right after school, I'm going to look for jobs here, develop myself. If I become financially stable, that's when I'll go back to my country and and see if I can offer my country something. If if after masters, if I know there's a job waiting for me back in Ghana. I'll definitely go. But right after masters, I'm not making that move. No, I'm not. I love my ga- I love my country, but <laughs> I'm not doing that. I need to develop myself. Fidels, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on this channel. I really appreciate the love and support. Please, guys, go ahead and subscribe to her channel. She has a YouTube channel too. This channel name is Fidels Osman. I'll put it in the description box and hit her up if you want to study or live in germany thank you to nappy thank you for having me on your show i really really appreciate you thank you so much and not to forget guys um if you have any questions pertaining to studying in germany you want to know more about it nappy is going to leave my instagram handle just send me a dm on my facebook or instagram send me a dm and i, I can take you through if you want to study in germany right Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get a notification anytime I post a video. I'm
going to see you in the other episode. Peace. <laughs>